guys it's your boy Hectendo here and today we are going to do a little comparison here on the 2008 playoff nines with the 2016 Space Jam nines now <clears throat> both the shoes are the same it's just that for the 2016 they changed names to Space Jams I have no idea why same with the um the Columbia 11s for the 2014 release they changed it into the Legend Blues um, Chicago Tens changed to Double Nickel Tens. I have no idea why they changed the names, but it don't matter to me. All right, so these these are the 2008 Playoff Nines. Um, right off the bat, this is the Countdown Pack box. These 2008 Playoff Nines are actually called the Countdown Pack Nines, but you know, so this is the box for it. It comes in a pack with the um, 14s, the countdown pack 14s. So half of the box is missing. All right. Next here we got the 2016 Space Jam 9s with the original 2016 box with the gold Jumpman black box. Um, here we just got the countdown pack logo right there. Um, we got the rounded circle that comes in 11s. Um, Cop this from Soul Supremacy. Shout out to them. Um, you just got 1994 right here on the tag. And the bomb you just got a special message from Michael Jordan himself, his signature. Right. You just got the cover with MJ. And you just got all the Jordans right here. 1 to 11s. All right, next we got the 2016 box, Gold Jumpman. Nothing so special about this box. You've seen this box a whole bunch of times. Okay. Um, got this from Foot Locker. And here we go, size 10 and a half, Air 9 Retro, White, True, Red, Black. Alright, so let's open these boxes. Like I said, the box is original 2016 box. We got that 23 paper. For the countdown pack, the box opens differently. You slide it off. Alright, slide it off. Instead of the 23 paper, we got that type of laser the laser jordan series you get that type of paper inside the countdown pack you can see right here and you can see different types of jordans on these like for here you can see as 13s um let me see what else this is toes right here toes again we got tens 14s you know all right so put these babies up I'm going to be taking not only the left side of the shoe, show you guys the comparison. Be right back. All right. So we got the playoffs, the 2008 playoff nines on the left. And we got the Space Jam 9s on the right. All right. Right off the bat, you guys may not see any differences. But on the playoff 9s, you got this widow peak on the tip of the numbuck. On the 2016, they removed the, num the widow's peak. On the, t on the end of the mesh tongue, you got another widow peak. On the 2016, there's none. Right, the mesh looks the same, you know. Is it the same? I think so, it's the same. Um, the laces you can see on the playoff, the laces are thin, but on the space jam it's thicker. You can see. See? Um the tongues I think it's a different material they use on the tongue. Yeah, like right here, you can see this is two type of material they use on the 2016. Like here's a little bluish, and the lining here is black. Um, while wow, here's just just really black. Also, 
at the end of the tongue right here this thread right here you can see it's white while on the 2016 it's black the air jordan words you can see it's a different shade of red and it's much more cleaner on the 2016 Um, again, the laces on the aglets on the countdown pack. It's black in it, innards. While on the 2016, you got that white inside, like the bread elevens. Okay. Um, let's turn to the sides of the shoe. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I could do it like this. Okay. The 2016, um, the triangles on the triangles here, I would say it looks more like you don't really see the triangle that much on the 2016, but on the countdown pack, you could really see the triangles. Um, some people said that the number cut on the 2016 is a bit lower than the, than the 2010 and the 2008. It's the same height. <laughs> right. Now, the midsole. You can see on the midsole on the countdown packs, it's glossy, shiny. While on the 2016, it's dull. It's like a mantle finish to it. These you won't you won't um you won't encounter paint chips on the midsole, but on the countdown pack and the twenty tens you will get paint chips. You can see the paint's already chipping on these. Severe paint chip. The jumpman's on the countdown pack. The jumpman is big, while on the twenty sixteen the jumpman's are, are quite smaller. Also. On the left foot, the Jumpman is facing the toe of the shoe while on the 2016, it's facing the heel of the shoe. Um, I think the Jumpman's look the same to me. Just that those, this one is a little bigger. All right, the backs. On the countdown pack, the 23 is slightly lower. Um, we got a widow's peak right here in the middle of the two and the three. While on the 2016, the 23 is a little higher and it's no widow peak. You still got the same sparkles. They said on the 2016 is more sparkles. That's bullshit. Um, I think the red is the same here. Not too sure. Uh, I think the red is the same. Same shade of red. The pull tabs. This is a different material used on the 2016. Like this look a little a little flimsy while these is a little sturdy. Also the Harachi lining is a little bit higher on the countdown packs, while on the 2016 is lower. The size tags. We got the on the countdown pack, there's no jump on the size tag. While on the 2016, oops, get this out. On the 2016, you got the jump man. Also, you can see right off the bat, these are different. The Harachi lining, the material on the tongue is quietly different on the countdown pack. Let's get this focus. You can see that right there. It's a little blue. All right, the insides, the insoles. The insoles of these got the, the countdown pack trademark. That's that's intact inside the sole with the Jumpman. And it says 1985 and 2008 with the countdown pack logos. The two X's stands for two and the three is three. So that means 23. On the 2016, you got the Nike Air branding on the insole. The bottoms of the shoe look the same, you know. This one's a little bit dirty. 
They're both the same. And that's pretty much it. Both of these shoes are, are great. The quality on the 2016 looks all right, but you know, I prefer the 2010 or the countdown pack of the playoff nines. Only because I don't like I don't like how the they did the midsole. They shed this made back shiny like the the countdown pack. But overall, it's a great shoe, you know. Thanks for watching my video. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow my Instagram at Trini. Dot. Mm.